Okay, as you can see, the motherboard's now in place. It's secured into the case, and now we need to come in with the power supply. Now, we've got a power supply over here. There's the box for it, and you can see that Brock has the power supply here. Now, for the power supply for a server, it would have been nice if we could have gotten a redundant power supply, so almost like two power supplies, so if one fails, the other one would kick in, and that would be ideal for a server, but we didn't quite have the funding for that, so we just decided to go with one power supply. Now, the power supply needs to be correct and have this, the correct pins and pinouts to match the motherboard. And you can see here on the motherboard, we've got the P1 power connector. That's the long one. That's typical, right? Pretty much every power supply is going to have one of those. But then next to them, you see there's two 8-pin power connectors. Now, those two 8-pin power connectors correspond to the two CPU sockets on the motherboard. And so you wanted to make sure that you have a power supply that can do that. It has two 8-pin 12-volt power connectors, too. And so Brock's going to show us those right now. All right, so there's our P1 right there. And there's our two 8-pins right there. All right. And now, Brock, show us some of the other um, connectors providing power off that power supply. Okay, we got uh, PCIe. You can see it has uh, capable of doing 8, 6... And these are, uh, I believe, capable of, yeah, you can take the six other piece Six plus out. two. So it's a six plus two. Okay. Okay, moving on down here, we have a number of SATA connections, which this is what our hard drives will be plugged into. All right, show us the SATA power connector. All right, these are all SATAs. Okay, those are all SATA power connectors right there. Okay, I can see them really clearly. Great. All right, and this is a Molex connector. This is what our fans are going to be attached to. These old school Molex power connectors. All and, right, and then we have one little connector if we wanted to add in uh, some three and a half inch device, like a floppy drive or something. Okay, great. All right, super. So, what's the main thing you want to uh, be careful of as you go to install this power supply in this case? Ah, uh, well, of course, always static charge, but don't drop it on the motherboard <laughs> and keep everything out of the way as you're putting it in. So. Keep it on one side. All right, we don't want to drop that on the motherboard. That's probably the main thing. All right. And then uh, whoever wants to put the screws in may do so. All right, thanks, Dave. Dave's got the screws, and he's going to help us out here. When you put them in, just put them in kind of loose. Yeah. And you can you can see here, this one this power supply actually has a auto switching uh, PFC, meaning that yeah you can see it, it's upside down on this one, but mm -hmm. meaning that these uh, 12 volt rails will adjust themselves auto inside this power supply if it needs more. So you can have uh, like these two will join or these two will will kick in and help. So we're just talking about four screws there to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. Let me tighten them up. Yep. Now that you have them all in there. Uh, you can see the sticker down there. It says auto switching PFC. Uh, the auto switching in there is the it, if the demand's greater on a 12 volt rail, it will it will move some of the the amperage across and shut off the other 12 volt rails to make up the difference. So it can dynamically allocate the amount of power that it needs. So it can provide the correct power to the power or to the motherboard that it needs. Okay. And Steve, what were you pointing out? And the PFC is power factor corrected. On a normal computer power supply, um, the amount of draw it uses can be about uh, up to 30% more uh, based on the way it actually takes the electricity in from the AC sine wave. The PFC corrects that so it draws more closely to the sine wave and actually reduces the amount of waste uh, power you need from the AC uh, from the wall.